What's up guys, New Hope Cuts here. Hopefully everybody's had a great day, great weekend. Um, but most importantly, you know, a great year. And at first I wanna say, Happy New Year to each and every one of you, to my subscribers, um, to the friends um, that I've gotten um, closer to on this social media channel. Never would I thought that I would, you know, make the relationships that I've made over the past few years. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it and I'm thankful for it, right? I appreciate the comments, both positive, both negative, you name it, right? Comments are comments, right? You take them, you appreciate them, you appreciate the good, you appreciate the bad. But most importantly, you appreciate the people that come to your channel. Um, you know, I don't want to call out any names, but a lot of people come to my channel. And I'm not going to call out any names because I don't want to miss anybody or offend anybody. You know who you are. And the, the thing that I can say is thank you. Thank you for your support to the New Hope Cuts YouTube channel. Um... For me, it's been a great year. It really has. It's had its ups. It's had its downs. But it's been a, a very, it, this has been my best year so far compared to the previous years. And I hadn't been doing it that long, right? So, but I, this has been by far the best year for me. Um, if you follow my channel, you know I, you know I've I've grown from where I started out with one zero turn to three. Uh, bought a brand new stand on this year, and it has definitely elevated my business, the type of customers that I can service now with those smaller backyards, and not having to always push mo those situations so it, it has come with its advantages by far um and you know i'm very appreciative of that um i watch a lot of you guys out there in the uh, social media world with different kinds of equipment um different kinds of setup you know um i've grown with a number of customers i've grown with like i said the equipment you know, trailer wise, grown again, right? So business has been good, right? Um, I can't be more thankful than I'm what I'm already are today, right? Um, you know, I've been really thinking a lot about next year, you know, what are my goals, right? Right now, I mean, I wanna continue to grow. How's that gonna happen, you know? get more customers, offer more services, but don't try to be everything to everybody. I want to still stay in my core and that's lawn maintenance. Um, and be able just to service folks property, just like if it was my own. Um, I don't have any, and I chuckle about this, right? But I don't have any uh, ideas of buying any new mowers necessarily. Um, the moors I got, they're in great shape. Um, the, the Gravely has served me well. The Aaron's XD has always served me well, um, being the first one I started out with. Um, and it's a benefit to having different moors because you're able to, to balance the hours across them accordingly, and you're not running up um, a whole bunch of hours on a piece of one piece of equipment. So you're able to get i think more usage out of your equipment because you're not beating it to death um but yeah i mean i'm excited for 2024 um when i look at the numbers the the numbers are amazing i have to admit um but there's been you know a lot of effort behind the numbers this year um a lot of time um out there in the field right i mean i'm a solo guy yeah you've seen um 
I've, I've had helpers on the, the channel with me and um, and they've worked for the most part they've worked well they've helped me out they've helped me grow right um, I'm hoping that I have um, you know um, helpers back again next year to continue the the mow and the and momentum right um, you know, you know, but I don't want to scale too fast, too big, too quick. Um, a lot of people ask me, say, "Hey, can you can you take on more properties? Can you do this?" And I, and I, I can, I can. Do I want to? It's, it's just a question about how 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 far do I want to push that envelope in 2024, right? Um, I mean, ultimately, the goal is to stay, not fall off from a financial standpoint and go in the opposite direction is, is you keep growing your business, growing it steadily. That's, that's me, right? Um, I'm not an ambulance chaser in this business, right? Um, I state my prices. I offer good quality service, dependable, professional lawn care provider. That's what I preach. That's what I tell the folks around me. That's what I tell when I see customers. Um, and that's why the price is what it is because I want you to con to understand you can depend on me. Dependability. Um, that's always been me. Um, and we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm going to screw up. Um, but all I can do is ask for forgiveness. That's all I can really do. But again, I don't want to belabor this. I'm excited for 2024. I'm excited for 2023 to be over with because once that clock strikes 12 midnight, 11.59, 59, it's a new year, guys. It's a new year. Um, and I encourage you that if you're in this business, I'm a young guy. I'm, a, I'm young to the business. I'm not young in age, as you can see, right? Um, but... This is something that if you want it, you can have it. You just got to work it. You got to want to work it. You got to want to be outside. You got to want to use your hands. You got to want to be able to understand. And there's some days you're going to sweat. And there's some days you're going to get rained on. And there's some days it's going to be cold. And there's some days it's going to be extremely hot. Especially in this neck of the woods where I'm from. But if that stuff doesn't bother you. And you like to please people. that's This, is, this industry is for you. I love to be outside. I love to use my hands. I love to use different types of pieces of equipment. I love to go on to a property that is in a mess that hasn't been taken care of and make it something that makes the customer smile when we get done and makes them say, where have you been? Are you going to come back? Can you continue to take care of my property? It's those type of comments that, hey, it makes it worth it. No matter how many leaves are on the ground, you know, uh, how much mulching you got to do when it's done and that customer comes around the corner or out that front door or from underneath the garage and say, wow, this looks amazing. It's all worth it, guys. Um, I hope each and every one of you had a great year and I hope each and every, each and every one of you will have an even better year for 2024. Guys, take care of your customers. Take care of your equipment. And in return, both of those would take care of you. And most importantly, take care of your family. Always put your family first because those are the ones that are going to help you in the end. And let me be very clear when I say that. We all get out here in the hustle and bustle of doing this work and we grind it hard. 
But never forget, you got a home to go home to. Make sure your home is taken care of. Make sure when you're out there growing the business, you put money back into your home. You put time back into your home. Always remember that. Nothing else. At least that's that's how I operate. All right, guys. Well, I just want to do this quick video. I got a Diet Coke. Um, I've been out in the shop, straightening up a little bit, getting rid of, and you know, trying to get organized for 2024. Um, if you like me, my wife been washing clothes all day long. All my lawn care stuff is pristine, smelling like baby powder and everything. And I ain't even put none of it on. It'll be there for 2024. All right, guys. New Hope Cuts. Keep cutting.